Welcome back Poke fans to the playthrough of Pokemon Willpower. So last episode we started our rebellion. We went to Riviera Cave to try and stop Team Promo. We did ultimately fail, but we did beat the admins in a battle. Um now we gotta go to find the abandoned lab. So something on about um flying uh, I don't know what's going on with my um my controller it keeps playing up but yeah we basically need to fly back i can't remember what it's called um let's go vicavol to linoa city don't know what's going to happen but we're about to find out well wow. definitely said something about Lino City. Wasn't there somewhere that was closed off before? Maybe it's here. Oh, here we go. Oh, of course you're here. What? They're here too. Come here. I don't think you can beat me, do you? Damn you, you'll pay for betraying Team Pro, Right, Hypno. Um, that's not good for me. Let's get Armada. Delayed you. Frostlass. Yeah, we'll go Charizard and Flamethrower. Hmm, huh. thought that would have KO'd to be honest. Kingdra. And um, we'll go Vicavolt. A thunderbolt doesn't do anywhere near as much as I thought it would. But it would have done at least half. I suppose Vic Vault is a little bit under leveled though. Now what do we do? We can't do anything, let's get out of here. So what did I miss? How did they get here so fast? Police guard in this gate were actually team promo grunts. So they really are hiding something from the region. Come on, let's check it out. Right, I need to uh, heal up, so we'll be right back. Alright, then we're back. Let's head on through. Jeez, this place gives me the creeps. Something about it really scares me. Like, we're not supposed to be here. It feels dangerous. We have to be here. We have. To, we need to find the key to the hideout. I do feel uneasy about this area, though. It looks so empty. Think about that later. It's probably for the best. Come on, let's get to the lab. Yeah. Oh, got an item. Quick ball. The fact there's no trainers or anything here it is quite weird. The abandoned lab, now we can finally see how correct we were to not trust Beach after what happened here. We don't know yet, though, it might have been experiments on Pokemon. Could be worse, like human experiments. Ah, uh, I didn't even think about that. I don't know what to make of this lab. A lot of things are in place they shouldn't be. Well, no one uses it now, it's been abandoned after all. So I'm guessing we're looking for something. Hmm. What's this book for? Is it an entry for something? What did you find? Is it a clue or something? It's torn apart, so there's only one entry here. Go on, what does it say? This lab's finally gaining more employees. It's understandable since why work at the Eastern Linoa lab when there's another lab in Linoa City? Most of us are excited, we want to see what Beach wants to achieve in this laboratory. What secretive experiments are we going to make? That's what it says, the scientists didn't know what they were going to get themselves into. No, they likely gained a reason to keep working with Beach despite the end result. Well, they didn't know their experiments would cause a fire, right? If the end result killed several scientists, then they knew what they were doing was dangerous. Oh, right. Let's keep going, we might find more of these in other areas. Yeah. What the? There are more here? Why are they all lined up like this? It feels like someone prepared these for us to read them. Let's start with this one. But Beach was finally prepared to tell us what we are here for. The reason this was being kept secret was because, well, we're gonna be we're gonna make fusions. Pokemon fusions to be more specific. Pokemon fusions, what for? 
Let's read this one. Under my confusion, I decided to ask Beach himself. Knowing better than most scientists here, after all, what could be possibly gained from making fusions? He answered my question with another question which made me realise his aim. He's looking for a way to make beans more powerful than uh, everyday Pokemon. Let's read this one. Progress on Pokemon fusion has been slow but promising. We discovered that fusing two Pokemon with similar biology is surprisingly simple. We now have tens of fusions. Some of them seemed to be just as strong as their Pokemon counterparts. I wonder if they could ever be shown to the world. With how more recent experiments turned out, we believe the testing to be a success. However, Beach does not seem very pleased with these outcomes. Beach came today to the laboratory and just decided this was it. The fusion experiments were deemed as failures by him. Our next idea is yet to come, leaving the laboratory inactive at the moment. This sudden change of view confused several scientists, but in truth, none of the experiments did ever exceed strength for a regular Pokemon. Hmm. What the heck, they didn't stop here. Clearly not, this wasn't what caused the fall of the Eastern Linoa lab. Oh, I really don't like this, but I guess we have to keep reading if we want to find out what happened. Scientists are understandably less motivated to carry out experiments, especially after dismissing Pokemon Fusion research. Several employees were not as happy with their first job in this lab and considered revealing it to the public. However, that's just not possible. Beach knows too much about them, so unfortunately for them, they won't be left out that easily. It's only natural after all. What is done in this lab is highly confidential, no matter how uncomfortable they feel. Let's read this one. No experiment was not carried out, however, since I'm part of another organisation I've been gifted with an intriguing piece of information. Beach revealed to me the existence of another area just outside of Snowden, an island with little population he has previously researched there. However, no one in Snowden actually knows of this small island to the east. Isn't that ruined home? But there aren't any people there, right? Uh, what did they do there? Oh, Hazel. Hazel, you look pale. Pokex, this is just Hazel. I can't just read it. I guess I'll read this then. The team recently returned from the secluded island, but the experiments have unfortunately taken a toll on the scientists. Beach brought all the people living in that island to this very laboratory, and most scientists already seem to know what their next purpose is. Even if they didn't know, Beach outright said what he intended. He stated that if Pokemon fusions don't make stronger Pokemon, then combining the intelligence of a human and a Pokemon will create a more intelligent being free from being captured. So the people from Ruined Home were... I'm going to be sick. This does sound pretty messed up. This has took a turn for the worse, this story. The human experience took a turn for the worse. Scientists have regret it. are regretting their decision in taking part of this research more and more every day. That includes myself too. Despite knowing Beach better than most, I cannot support something as inhumane as this. Even one of our own very promising scientists ended his own life due to the trauma, but we can't stop. Our lives and reputations are at stake. The experiments were not showing promise either. Humans and Pokemon are simply too different. One of the test subjects went missing too. Fortunate as it is, we have no choice but to keep working on this. This one looks hard, but it does not look torn at all. If you're reading this, the laboratory is already burned down by this point. An experiment created a fusion too powerful to control. Several scientists were killed and those still alive could not reveal what happened here. As for me, I live in Merton Town, so I have to keep working for Beach. Maybe one day someone will explore this lab. Who wrote these entries? I feel like I should know who they are. Rachel? Rachel, wait, what is she doing here? This one's very new. Someone else in here. Those experiments I had to work on were simply the worst part of my life, but so long as Team Perrin is still around, I will never be free. At least someone's finally going to find out what really happened here. Oh, that's why it felt familiar. This is Brayden. He's the only scientist that was highly involved in Team Promina. Does that mean he's here? This room, it feels different from the rest of the lab. There's some books, a laptop. Is that a fridge in a bed? Rachel, you here? What are you doing here? Your pokey actually made me remember him. That's the person you were talking about, right. Is this why you called yourself Freak of Nature? No, I forgot about this place until you battled me. I'm a ghost with a shape of a human, that's why. I also remember this. Don Don wrote here. Please read it. Oh, is it okay? Yes. Oh, you knew the password for this? Well, okay, let's start with entry one. Beach's forces have returned. A few weeks have passed since this laboratory saw any work inside of it. 
where our next experiments are going to include human and Pokemon fusion as if Pokemon fusion wasn't moral enough. Who wrote this? Donovan. I'll call him Don Don. Wonder where he is now. Oh, I will see. Wonder what he did in this horrid experiment. Entry 2. During other scientists' experiments, have noticed the detail of a scientist have not, but sharing it would trouble the progress of research. Must keep this information from us for now. I've noticed that fusions between a human and a ghost Pokemon are significantly more stable. To make my decision on what I'll proceed with regarding these experiments, I'll focus my efforts on one test subject. My test subject is a young and sickly girl. It's possible my idea could work on her, but I must be careful experiments or not, she has little time left. We began experiment examining the subject. A poor girl grew attached to me. She doesn't seem to remember anyone else or her previous home. She told me her name, Rachel. She's just 14 years old. What did she do to deserve this? My experiments works. I may be able to keep her alive while fused with a Pokemon. She could have escaped this wretched place and lived to the fullest. That's you, Rachel. So it worked. It kept you alive. I don't know. Huh? There are more inches to be read still. Right. The experiment's going to take place on fusing Rachel with a ghastly. This way she may be able to still live. The fusion's finished. Now I truly cannot let the other scientists here, especially Beach. She cannot be taken away. With the fusion she may look the same as she used to, but paler with a purple aura around her, just like a ghastly. From here onward I kept talking to her, asking about her dreams and aspirations. Her answers were never too confident. It's understandable she's stuck with me in a single room. She also asked me why she stayed where she was. I had no choice but to tell her I'm a terrible person but she refused to believe it. He's kind, he saved me. Why did he say he was bad? Rachel, it's this lab, all the experiments that carried out. Well that's not his fault, it's the fault of the beach he mentioned before. That's true. There are still two more entries. I regrettably made a terrible realisation I cannot be forgiven for what I've done. Huh? D Don Don? I now understand why, why she never sounded certain about her dreams or aspirations. After the fusion, she seemed less sure of her own identity. She then told me she felt wrong about her body and consciousness, like her body wasn't her own. Her uncertainty led me to try more tests on her. I reached one conclusion. The sick young girl I knew as Rachel is dead. The consciousness I began talking to after the fusion is actually the ghastly. I killed her. The only semblance of good I attempted to achieve was a failure. Entry number 9. Rachel left the laboratory now. I told her to stay away from the scientists and told her the password for these entries. I believe she deserves to know the truth if she seeks it. As for me, my life's now over. Over? We can't mean. I've done too much to keep. Too much wrong to keep going forward, so I'll take my life. Rachel, if you're reading this, forgive me, but you won't see me again. Rachel, that was the last one. Don Don, why? None of it was your fault. You were just trying to save me. You didn't have to die. But is that even how I feel? I'm not Rachel, I'm just a Pokemon that looks like her. Wow, well, what am I supposed to be? So sorry Rachel, you didn't deserve any of this. I'm not Rachel. Sorry Pokeyat, so I shouldn't take it out on you. I want to find Rachel's hometown, maybe I'll understand her better that way. Goodbye. What? No, wait. She's gone. Rachel, I'll find you again, I swear it. Yeah, that is hella weird. Oh, you're here. What took you so long? Sorry it took me a little too long to read some bits, but right now it's not important. Braden, why are you here? How did you know we would come? We only fought those grunts a little while ago. Do you think word of your betrayal's not spread out around after Riveria Cave? Oh right, of course, they're gonna tell everyone. Yes, and this is the only place you can go in order to get the answers you need. What you went through because of Beach? Do you truly believe that wasn't me trying to deceive you? What? Give me a break. You seriously mean to tell me you plan to deceive someone not knowing who two years in advance? Not to mention what is written there makes complete sense with what we already know. I huh, suppose not, so why do you reckon I'm here? Surely you don't believe I'm Ali with you, right? You actually did. I'll have you know I've no intention of allying with you. There's nothing you can do to help me. That's not true. You're strong enough to defeat two Promino admins. We'll surely stop Beach's plans and save Snowden. Isn't that what you want? Well, I do want to stop the Professor. Don't expect me to care for the fate of Snowden. And you need me in order to enter the Promino hideout. Well, no, we can just find a clue in this lab. That's where you would keep it. You mean this here in my hand? This is the password for our hideout. Wherever we met in town it may be. If you win a battle against me, I'll consider cooperating with you for the time being. You're on. Very well. This is actually crazy. Right, I'm gonna go drain punch.
there we go. What have we got next? Lunaturn. Yeah, let's just go Monty. Pinehead. Oh my god, it lift. Bastiodon. Right, hit one chan. Ouch. Oh my god. Whose idea was it to give that thing stamina? Ah, oh, Criddily. That's good. Monty's clutch. Aerodactyl. Um, do we reckon Armaldo lives a hit? I'm not too sure. Clutch. I see now how you defeat the other admins. You're strong enough to defeat me, well, I suppose I have to keep my word here. Please keep in mind, Professor Beach is much stronger than us at Promino admins. Don't you think it will be an easy battle? I'm well aware. I now return to Merton Town. I'll make sure they leave Route 17 open for you. Thank you. Alright then, let's get there right away. Wow, this... This is getting good. Wrong way. So... Can we just go ahead and fly straight there? No, so we need to go from Route 17, which is down from here. Don't remember there being a down exit. Oh yeah, there is. Which way do we want to go? Those Pokets will know what you did. Crowbat. I'm just going to hit this with a Thunder Punch. That worked out. My champ. And um, let's go Charizard. It's going to hit me with Stone Edge, isn't it? I don't know, maybe not. Chandelure. This one calls for Monty. Wow. Oh, I didn't see that going. That's like a 50% accurate move as well. Like, what are the actual chances? Nah, oh, I picked the wrong way. Oh no, looks like you had a battle regardless which way you went actually. Right, mighty enough, should be able to... Well, I would have been able to one shot if I didn't get hit with Intimidate. Pounding. Mm, gonna have to stay in. It's not quite enough. Oh my god, man. Burns.
the Lion Lane and go Charizard. Not quite enough damage, but but they're in the end. Got a big nugget. Oh, looks right. Or is this it? No, Route 18. Got TM for punishment. Oh, this must be it. Yeah. Well, at least we can heal. Now we just gotta look for an abandoned place. Oh, we gotta battle these as well. <coughs> they all seem to have crowbats. They all seem to like to go for confusion. Alright, with Cham. This is literally the same Pokemon that one of the previous Promino Grunts had. Oh, that's not good. Solar Blade. Skip that. Ooh. What's coming out next? Let me guess how I'm doing. Yep, yeah, alright, we're gonna go Monty. We're at a high level, so. Should outspeed. And then Glalie, go back to Charizard. Can't believe how much that cringe did. How many of these grunts are actually in this place? Um, to be honest, I don't really care if I get taken out because I'm going to run back and heal anyway after this battle. Crawdon can take scissor that. Must learn Flare Blitz, absolutely. Is this where we need to go? Yeah. Alright, let me uh, quickly run back and heal and then we'll be right back. Alright then, we're ready. Let's head on in. Whoa! Huh, did you really think entering our lab was going to be easy, Treya? It's easier than I thought it would be. Why are you? You'll pay for underestimating us. I'd prefer this to have just been a triple battle to be honest, but it is what it is. Kingdra. Um, oh, I forgot to put the Mega Stone on. Yeah, Hydro Pump just deletes us. Wasn't my best idea. Way you missed. How about that? Oh, I can't stop anyone like this. Okay, I'm up next. What? No, you idiot. Let's team up. There's two of us and one of them. I mean, you should have just tripled up, to be honest, but... Hey-ho. Why is everyone double-teaming? Into Vicarville. Um, Hypno. Okay, you can get Hyper Potion. You can X Scissor. 
that worked out perfect. Same again. Except you're gonna thunderbolt crow about this though. Mm, didn't quite do enough, but I did get the um the paralysis. Switch into Lorantis. Of course, I would hit myself that time. Sizzle actually lived it. What the hell? Ah, oh, I forgot water resist. Steel. I got a flinch there. Right, um, and a drain punch and rock slide. Iron head. Got a crit. <coughs> that works out for me. No, we can't do anything now. So where's the hideout? Oh, what the heck, you're already here. Yeah, but I don't know where the hideout would be. Hazel, what are you doing? What the? How did you know? I know something strange on the wall here last time we were in this lab. Let's go, we need to stop them. Well, I guess we better get moving. Right, do I need to heal up again? Yep. And I don't think there's anywhere in here to heal, is there? No. Right, we'll be right back again then. Alright then, we're back. Yeah, what are all these doors for? You know for a hideout there isn't much here, what do they use it for anyway? Well, there's some things we know about Team Prone that we didn't find anywhere else. The first being where the legendary Pokemon are. It was likely behind these doors. Wait, Hazel, where are you going? Did you hear that? The door clicked, we can get out of here. So you're the ones that freed us, I have to thank you in the name of all Pokemon Rangers. Right, you're welcome. You don't sound too thrilled about it. Hold on, I remember you, I saw you with Team Pro and only Ancient Ruins. Yeah. I don't understand why you freed us now, but I did hear some admins complain about being betrayed by some kids. By the way, I don't know your reason to side with them, but you did free us from captivity, so I should give you something in return. Here. Trick. Remember that we were also trying to stop Team Pro, and no? okay. We can't let you do this all alone. We should get going. Axe, what's wrong? Sam, she wasn't here. That's odd. Why'd you be in a different place from the other rangers? Samantha, she might still be up ahead. She better be. Sam, I'm so glad you're okay. Sam, say something. Come on, you need to get out of here. Why would I do that? Huh? Oh, it's the Pokex, the backstabber. Oh. You know, after Beach catching me, I've come to realise why you're so strong. It's because Beach helped you, isn't it? Now he helped me. Thanks to him, I'm not the helpless, worthless Pokemon Ranger I was before. I'm actually glad you got me captured, you know. Sam, what's going into you? I know you don't actually mean that. I don't mean that, Axel. Do you have any idea of how it feels to be completely useless to those you care for? There was no reason for the Rangers to keep me around. I wasn't doing anything to help them. They just felt bad for me. You idiot, that's not true. Yes, it is. You do the same. Listen to me. I don't want you damn pity. Now something I can actually do. I can help Beach get to Serenity Cave and catch Mewtwo. He can change Sinodan that way. Mewtwo? You fool, he's just using you. All for his personal gain, you don't get anything if you work for him. Actually I do. I got stronger, but even if I were to stop him, do you really think you can stop him once he catches Mewtwo? That's what I thought. You'd also need the Storm Badge to even get to Serenity Cave in the first place. You're already here, that means I'm needed, right? See you in Serenity Cave then, if you make it in time. Sam, I don't understand. Damn, it sucks, but we don't have time for this. Apparently Beach isn't here anymore. Yeah, let's get to it. Oh, right, sorry. I need some time to think. Let's go, Pokéx. Oh, you're here. So that noise was you. How did you get here? That doesn't matter. 
No, I guess it doesn't. I'll just have to take it down before you mess anything up. Um, okay. Garchomp. We chuck in. Ice Punch, but not delete. Hmm. What's my fastest Pokemon? 181. 190. Yeah, maybe Excadrill. If it's not, then we're in trouble. Hmm. Ooh. That's annoying. Let's go, Laurentis. In comes Kingdra. And he crits me. Fantastic. The head is Osimosis. Oh man, looks like it's all over. I need to do some serious training. Yeah, we'll, we'll be back to do this again. Alright then, let's try this again. So, I've got everyone to like level 72. Oh, Ice Punch still doesn't KO. She's actually insane. Right, we know Armaldo tanks are hit. Right, what about if we Mega Evolve Charizard? Go for Scale Shot. Oh, I thought it might hit more times than that. No, that still kind of worked actually. Is that all he has? It's just pure dragons. Okay, he's locked into Outrage. That worked. Altaria. Got a flinch. Oh, come on, Monty. Salamence. I think this is going to be a mega yet. Okay, um, can Vic about live one? I'm not sure after that. Nope. Right, can Max revive Excadrill? Oh my god, we actually lived. Right, let me revive. Um, nothing's going to outspeed this. It's all down to you, Monty. There we go. Okay, so now I lost. If you haven't noticed though, Professor Beach left before you even got here. That's fine, we can free Uxim as Alpha Mesprit now. Inigo. Brayden, are you with them? What's wrong with you? You should be making your way to Serenity Cave. What is the need? I'm not going to contribute to anything if I go. Tell me, Inigo. What do you think will happen after Professor Beach catches me, you two? What does it matter? I owe my life. If there's something I can do for him, I have to do it. You're being used, we all were. Stop denying the truth, Inigo. This sucks. Wow, you were here to free the Light Guardians, correct? You should hurry, you need the Storm Badge in order to get to Serenity Cave. Alright. As I you remember us, right, we're sorry we couldn't save you. Thank you for everything. Everyone already left. So, now I need to get the last gym badge in Shiny Resort. Right. But to do that, 
we're going to need to fly back to Blue Roma Town. And we will be ending it there. So, yeah, looks like we're going to be coming to the end. And the professor's true aspirations were to catch Mewtwo, which doesn't surprise me. Probably the sh strongest so called Pokemon in the world, bar Arceus. So, yeah, um, especially if it's a Mega as well. But yeah, um, next episode we'll go and get our last gym badge and try and stop the professor. So thank you everyone for watching and I hope to see you all next time.